Yes, what are you looking at there? Crickets, grasshoppers, we got it all for you. Forget the concession stand and forget the popcorn and the hot dogs. That's what's going on over there. San Diego Latino Film Festival celebrates cinema with food, beer, tequila. It's the sixth annual Sabor Latino. Huh? You gotta be able to say it like that. Sabor yeah. Latino. We have Ethan Ventilo here, Media Arts Center CEO. Hi, Ethan. Good Hello. to see you Thank again. You and we have you. Chef David Alarco. Eh? You're That's testing me with my Spanish, man. I'm fluent. Yeah, it's, it's my first it's language. Don't trip. Uh, from Fuego Santo, Piedra Santa in Tijuana. Welcome to both of you. Uh, you. Chef, uh, you're going to be there. Tell me what... So everybody was joking. Are you ready to eat crickets? Are you ready? And I said, what do you mean crickets? Well, it's grasshoppers, basically. Actually, grasshoppers. Yeah. So what, what? What? Why? Well, uh, we used to eat them a lot. Uh, really? In Mexico, yeah. Yeah, we really uh, base our cuisine in Oaxaca with uh, box like such as grasshoppers okay. as ants too. So uh, may, uh, may I ask why? Like, what's the origin of that? It's it's uh, it was Hispanic actually, but it's really good. It's very delicious and it's very nutritious. Very nutritious. Uh, very nutritious. Okay, so what are you making today? We got uh, the the kind of the the grill going here. We're we're getting ready. So what's the next step? Do you have to put the, the crickets on the, the grasshoppers on the thing? <laughs> yeah, well, today we're going to make a grasshopper taco. Oh boy. Uh, we're going to make, we're going to cook to um, uh, wagyu beef. Oh really? Uh, with mollis. Yeah. Wow. And uh, grilled vegetables. Okay. So it's a very good combination that we have in Piedra Santa in the restaurant. Excellent. In Berkeley. All right, we'll let you get to work while I talk to Ethan over here. Uh, the film festival, tell us what we can expect while the chef, do you need to do stuff now or what do you need to do? Yeah, we can start cooking. Yeah, yeah, you start cooking, cooking, man. I got this guy talking to me about the film festival while he talks, you do stuff. Of course. I'm about to excuse me. All right, Ethan, tell Ethan. me about the festival. It's, it's amazing. Celebrating 30 years. Yeah. Incredible. Over 160 movies. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to celebrate Latino culture, film, but also we're going to have something special, the Sabor Latino Festival, as yeah. you mentioned, on March 11th. We have over 15 chefs like David, oh, wow. uh, beer and tequila, wineries are going to be there from 2.30 to 6.30. There at Westfield Mission Valley Mall. Oh, perfect. And then, and so the festivals, in addition to the films, we have Sabor Latino, we have concerts every day, music, Arte Latino exhibits. And, it's, and the screens are happening all the time. I mean, it's just a whole big party, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's just 11 days. There's uh, three or four auditoriums there at AMC Mission Valley. Brilliant. And you can see independent films, foreign films. Uh, opening night, we have Joaquin Cosio, uh, oh, yeah. who was in Suicide Squad yeah. and a Netflix show, Hentified. He'll be there for the uh, special tribute. We're screening his new film, which is a comedy. Uh, and then we're screening some of his classic films as well. Like, a, um... Okay, I see Chef is about to take the Wagyu beef and put it on, <laughs> yeah. on, on the pan over here. Exactly. Uh, how long do you, you have to be very, I mean, that's excellent beef, obviously, and uh, you have to be careful in the cooking. How do you, what's the trick? Well, it has to be just very soft. Very you know, soft, like yeah. Very soft. And okay. We're just gonna uh, put it in a rare, medium rare. Medium rare. Medium rare okay. Point. So you get to taste all the, um, the flavors. Yeah, the marbling. The fat, is beautiful. The marbling, yeah, yeah of look course. at that. Wow. So we're gonna uh, cook it right now. If you like. like, how long are we talking about? On uh, both sides, like a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. We just look seal at that. it. Ethan, you smell that? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna uh, mix it with the vegetables. <laughs> okay. And uh, with uh, moles, of course. All right, tell so. me more about the inspiration for this kind of stuff. I know it goes like it's tradition and everything else, but the inspiration for you to create this menu for the folks at the film festival, where does that come from? Well, actually, uh, my family's from Oaxaca. Okay. So uh, all, I got all the inspiration from my grandmothers. Both okay. of them are from Oaxaca. So uh, I started to mix the, the flavors from Oaxaca with Baja, so all the inspiration comes from that. Aside from the film festival, I mean, you go down, you got your restaurants, right? Yeah. People come down there and they try this thing out. Um, what's that experience like when people come for the first time? Well, they sometimes they don't want to try it. Yeah. But whenever <laughs> they try it. Like, like when they see the grasshoppers and the crazy, you know. Exactly. Yeah. And then uh, when they try them, they, they are amazed because yeah. it's really good. For sure. Flavor, and uh, as I said, it's nutritious, very nutritious, very good. So uh, we really we want to encourage people to try them out. It's a very uh, unique, uh, yeah. you know, all the, the flavors that we have. So I really dare you guys to try them out. <laughs> oh, you're dare. Don't you double dare, people. 
Uh, double. Okay. Do we, when do we flip that thing? It's not yet. <laughs> it's oh my! I'm not. Look, I'm not trying to tell him what to do. Uh, 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 tell me a little bit more about the films, Ethan, if you could, and the message to the community for this year's big celebration while we're cooking up the wagyu beef. Well, the, the message is uh, loud and clear. First of all, thank you to everyone for 30 years of the San Diego Latino Film Festival. We couldn't do it without all the wonderful attendees. You know, the the film festival is run by a nonprofit called the Media Arts Center San Diego. So every time you buy a movie ticket or right. a ticket to Sabor Latino, you're supporting. Our our youth media education programs. So we really want to thank, say thank you to everyone. Yeah. And like I said, uh, it's more than films. You have 160 movies, but then you have music, uh, food, arte Latino. Every day there's something for everyone. Uh, family films, dramas, comedies. And, and the young people really do have new passions and they bring in new experiences. And that's the good thing about these film festivals. It's not just, you know, you go see your Avengers and all this <laughs> stuff, but this is really where the art of filmmaking comes into play. You see different perspectives, different stories, different backgrounds. Yeah, you, and you have a lot of young filmmakers participating in this year's festival. We have a yeah. whole front set of filmmakers a section and student films as well. All right, look at this. Uh, I'm going to have the chef start cutting this thing up. Uh, let's put up the info again. I know we've put it up a couple of times. Sabor Latino Food, Beer, Tequila Fest happening this Saturday, 2.30 to 6.30, Westfield Mission Valley Mall, right there on Camino del Rio North. We're going to go to the mall. I've never said Camino del Rio North. Uh, it's going to be fun. Tastings like music, the whole uh, Arte Latino showcase. All the information, by the way, is on fox5sandiego.com. Uh, look, Chef is super busy. Ethan, thank you. I've been told not to touch any of the knives over here. I did a good job at that. Uh, chef, thank you very much. Thank you. Continue success. Thank you for coming on. Thank All right. you. We'll be right back. Right.